city um, West Street this is um, 12th Avenue and I want to point out that you're in the Midtown area the streets are numbered like you see here 42nd Street this is 42nd Street to the left we're on 12th Avenue also known as West Street Manhattan is an island with rivers on both ends Brooklyn is an island Staten Island Yes, is an island. Queens is an island. The only borough that is not an island is the borough of the Bronx. The Chelsea Piers. This is one of the largest sporting complexes here in New York City. You can do everything from miniature golf to um, uh, gymnastics to basketball. Side we have. Um, what you call in pods. This is a new park that, that was built by Diane von Furstenberg and Barry Dillard. I should say they financed it. There's 132 of those pods. They look like tulips and they sit literally in the Hudson River. Public beach on your right. See the people sunbathing out there? But you notice they're not going swimming. No way, Jose. Or in the, this area on the right side here, this is what we call Battery Park City. Was built um, after they removed the foundation to build the original Twin Towers. Started the five and dime stores. Frank W. Woolworth is the Woolworth building on your right. And um, and of course, uh, today the building is in Chapel. This survived some of the worst fires and it survived on September the 11th. When the Twin Towers came down, it destroyed a lot of the buildings in this area, but this building had not one window broken, no damage whatsoever. It was almost like divine intervention. Um, and and, and for those people who were working around the clock, the first responders, um, food, it was a, a church that kept the stores open. Notice this is Trinity Church. This is uh, one of the richest churches in the world. Queen Anne came over in the 1700s and laid claim to a whole lot of land from here all the way north to Greenwich Village. Uh, and, and of course, whatever land that she still owns from that time, those people who have property on that land will pay rent. Our first Secretary of the Treasury, Alexander Hamilton, is laid to rest. He's trending on social media because there's a Broadway show named for him. And it's a, it's a hit Broadway show called Hamilton. If you look to your left, you'll see a very important symbol to the market, the stock market. And that, of course, is the bull, the charging bull, the Wall Street bull that was placed in, in front of the stock exchange in 1989. That's right. You saw it correct. You can go inside the Statue of Liberty yourself. And, and, and there's an elevator that takes you up to the pedestal. But if you're planning on going all the way up to the crown, then that's a walk up. About 154 steps. Over here on your left hand side uh, is uh, the ferry that takes you to an island in the, in the upper New York Bay we call 
Governor's Island. Right. That is the entrance for the Staten Island Ferry, where you can get the ferry that takes you to the outer borough of Staten Island. This is uh, the Brooklyn Bridge, but before you see that, you've got um, this beautiful um, pier here, Pier 6. If you ever want to get a helicopter ride um, to uh, Manhattan, 30 minutes an hour ride, you can get, get the helicopters right from here. Okay, it's also where uh, those who are coming into New York, uh, VIPs and so on and so forth, that's where they land right there. And um, Brooklyn Heights is on the uh, other side of the river. You have the Brooklyn Bridge that is directly in front of us and then followed by the Manhattan Bridge with then followed by the Williamsburg Bridge. The way to remember that is Brooklyn, Manhattan, Williamsburg, BMW, the car that you would never leave <coughs> on the streets of New York City overnight. Yeah, with, with expression. It was uh, it was designed uh, by a German architect by the name of John Roebling. Um, and John Roebling designed this bridge. Um, unfortunately, he did not live um, to see the bridge completed. Uh, he his foot was crushed. So we're going back to our bus. Now you can also see uh, in between the Brooklyn Bridge and the Manhattan Bridge on the Brooklyn side is an area called Dumbo. And that's an acronym for Down Under Manhattan Bridge Overpass. And um, these are for people of low to moderate to, uh, middle income. That is the, the city, with much, much of our city work, those who work for the city government. And, and, and amongst the Twin Towers and the other five buildings. Um, on that day, uh, we lost close to about 3,000 people. By the way, this is an area on yeah, your right. Yeah, no. the, the numbers would have been a lot higher had it been a little later, when more people would have come to work. Memorial to World Trade Center One. There's two tall World Trade Centers. This was one, the North Tower, the South Tower just on the other side. The footprint of the tower, where the tower stood, okay? Um, the building stood at 110 stories, about 1,368 1, feet above ground. And the other World Trade Center would be Tower Two, World Trade Center Two. This was the first one that was struck, okay, from, and it was hit at the 92nd floor, impacting everything above it. And the other one was uh, hit at the 77th floor. And so that was the second one to be hit, the first to come down. This was the first to be hit, but the second to come down. That's the Freedom Tower, standing at 1,770 six feet high, 1776. It's an office building, it's an office building. And it actually is not just the tallest building in New York, it's the tallest building in the United States. So, people that are a lot taller, that's the Oculus.
right behind that shrine is where they're going to build building number five. This is the Roxy Hotel here on your right. This is a part of what we call the Soho neighborhood. We're over here on your right hand side. This is an organization that feeds uh, the, the people that are in shut-ins and shelters. Where you got a lot of phenomenal uh, ball players um, that, that know how to slam and dunk. Uh, and they are, some of them uh, were at one time in the NBA. Some of them were good enough but never made it to the NBA. But bagels, pizza, hot dogs, and the, 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 the last thing, cheesecake. And that, that's on 49th Street. And actually, it's, it's in two places. It's in both, one is on 49th Street and Broadway. The other is on 45th Street between 7th and 8th. And the name of the place is called Juniors. And they they are well known for their delicious, uh, um, uh, lots of different types of cheesecakes. Because the trains that were used to run there haven't run there in over two decades, maybe three decades. Then they realized, wait a minute, maybe this could have even a greater purpose and perhaps we could make it into a public park. They were able to start to raise funds, uh, we call it the Highline Park today, and they actually got money from the city and eventually opened up the park in several, in several phases. So it started in 2009, and then 2012 was the second phase, um, and then or 2011, and then 2013 was the final phase. Floors of shops. Macy's on your left. Sit out and picnic. Uh, during the winter months, they have the grand bazaars where you can go shopping. They also have a carousel back there. A lot of places where you can eat. Chest and checker places. That I believe you saw from way back on Sixth Avenue, looking uptown. Um, <coughs> we're coming into Times Square. Uh, which is just to the north of where we are right now, which is of course the, where most of the Broadway theaters are stationed. The building is this, where the construction is right here, where you have the scaffolding on, on, on the right side. So if you just look to your right, on 7th Avenue, look up the street. You're looking at the heart of Times Square back here. With all the, all the digital. Right on through here, 42nd Street. A few Broadway theaters. And that theater, the Amsterdam Theater was renovated and fixed up by the Disney Corporation. Disney sort of 
came in and, and invested several millions of dollars to rehash and refurbish some of these theaters. And when that happened, it really started to change this neighborhood from what it was once a lot of triple X porn shop and, and, and also porno houses. Alicia Keys grew up in this building on your right hand side, um, the Manhattan Plaza. We are approaching the pier. We, I hope that you have enjoyed the tour. Thank you.